Hey fellow viewers, it's Drew again. What's up fam? So today I am going to do a tutorial in Scratch, which is an application where you can learn coding. I will put the link down in the description below. So today I will be making a Scratch cursor tray, which I will show you how to do. And I will also help you learn the basics. And don't forget to check out the Game of Fire Girls channel, which is one of my collaboratives. I This video is based on their actual video. Don't forget to check their video out and subscribe. Hey Drew fam, it's Drew again. So welcome back to Drew's world. And today we will be doing our first scratch tutorial. This is inspired by Game of Agar. The channel's link will be in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to them and me. We are on our way to 150 subscribers and help Game of Agar reach 30 subscribers. So, let's get in this video. Today, I will be showing how you could make a cat or a multicolored train, a coaster train in Scratch. And if you don't know what Scratch is, as I have said in said in one of my other videos it's a platform where you can code games play games share games anything you want it's unlimited creativity and possibilities so let's get into this video and if you don't know what is scratch multicolor trail cursor trail is let me just show you i actually already have a scratch account one of my projects is actually at scratch Multicolor effect rail. So this is the one I will show you how to create this one. Let me just show you what this trail is. Trail is okay. Look, it's like a mini chromite and there's a multicolor trail behind it. It's super cool, right? So I will be showing you guys how to make this in scratch yourself. So let's get into this. Once you have opened Scratch in your browser or the Scratch app on your Android, Apple or your PC, you can go to the top left corner, click create and once you have come to the another page, it will load and once it has downloaded, let's wait. Yep, this is the Scratch project place. This is a stage where you can actually preview a project and see your project. <laughs> and this is a sprite, which will be your character which you will be using. This is a scratch cat sprite, which will be the default. You can use another sprite. The, this is the background where you can do backgrounds. You can choose from a gallery of backgrounds and sprites. You can also upload a sprite or background or you can make one. So let's get into this. Um, and it's not actually necessary to use the same one which I am using. For example, you can use another. Let me just show you. Choose a costume. And I will go to animals and yeah, this one, doge or yes, a dragon, indeed, ooh, the dragon is quite big, I'm gonna scale that one down. Let's just make it a baby dragon. So you can choose anything you want. I will be going with the scratch cat for now. And if you want a background, this is like the stage as I told. You need to choose a backdrop. And I will be choosing the bedroom. Three. Scratch this school. Yep. Now, if we go here, you can see this is where you can see the code. There are these kinds of block motion looks. Even some events are one of the most important. When you have to start a code or an animation, you need to do that. There are costumes for one sprite so you can make animations and stuff like that. So, if you do this, 
go to motion move 10 steps that's when like when the green flag is clicked yep when you click it it moves 10 steps like that you can do other code so as i have shown you guys we are going to make a scratch tray in this case a scratch cat multicolor tray so first we will be using the events take this one and another one when i start as a clone which will be right in controls when i start as a clone this will be like the starting ones we need to go here repeat grab a repeat and block and do a uh, change color effect these things are actually not optional you need to do this the same step as i am doing okay then you need to go to the looks blocks and then change color effect by 25 you need to put that in there and then in here you need to do this a forever block a create clone of myself block so a forever block a create clone of myself block and a go to mouse pointer block which will be right here in motion go to run it will be random position open the menu and make it to mouse pointer and now if you do this as you can see woo, you have multicolor but now these guys are stopping and being green and the screen is overwhelmed with them which is so annoying now what should i do that's where the first problem of this comes the clones will not get deleted and this happens so to make this stop go to control and take a delete this clone block and keep it here now if you try this Ta -ta -da! you got your trail done but you can all totally, you can not only do this one color trail you can do other trails too i will show you guys just now before that you need to copy this instructions to your project too the next things are the optional things okay if you go to this one you can see this color which is actually optional which means you can make the effect fish eye which makes them go like this you can make them well which will go them make them go like this you can also make them pixelate like this not only really that more most my sack this then one of my favorite one brightness which makes him look like the entering lobby animation in among us not only that a ghost one too which makes him look like he's going super fast isn't that cool well not only that that's all but you can i will be doing the classic color one so this is actually the whole project and if you want make this in scratch isn't it so cool yeah so let's just take a moment to appreciate it i really like this small but funny and entertaining projects and if you also like this don't forget to make this one in scratch and like this video and subscribe we have begun our journey to 150 subscribers so let you help 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 us reach that goal so what are you waiting for just click the subscribe button subscribe